Hey! <laughs> How you doing, Pia? Yeah. Hey, guys. Uh, doing a collaboration beer with Rob today, and uh, today we're going to be looking at a beer from Stillwater that we both got. Uh, Stillwater Artisanal Ales, and this is part of their new Sensory series, and this is the first one he's done, which is uh, the Lower de lower Dens. Uh, it says, Ale Brewed with Hibiscus, and it's a farmhouse-style ale and 6%. Uh, but Rob, you had a little bit of info about the whole concept of this series. <laughs> you knew well, a little more about it than me, at least. Well, I, can't, I, knew, I knew a little bit more about this uh, this specific beer. I, mean, I think the series, as it says, sensory. So you 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 listed them earlier. So this one's the first one, which is sound. Yeah. And then the other ones are so touch, sight, and what's smell. And smell, yeah, of course. It's uh, it's quite an interesting one because with this being the first one. It's probably the hardest one to kind of um, define because all the rest of them, I think they're, they're quite typical things in beer anyway. I mean, you'd smell a beer and you'd, and you'd certainly taste the beer. So this is a little bit more kind of conceptual and it's all about, um, it's kind of brewed in collaboration to some sort with with, with a band which you, which I called Lower Dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I, um, I don't think Peter's watched it. I, I've watched a bit of the video. It's quite odd. They're um, they're kind of like quite a low beat, um, quite angular uh, indie band. I mean, uh, people online compare them to bands like um, Deer Hunter and stuff like that. Uh, I'd said I always said to Peter beforehand, Psychic TV. I mean, not the poppy stuff from Psychic TV, but that kind of weird, kind of more indie-fied industrial music. It's not my personal taste, but I don't mind. I don't know about you. It doesn't sound like my personal taste either. As you know, I'm more into heavy metal, so it sounds quite different. But it, I know it's kind of artsy, and if you scan this QR code on the bottle, you'll get to a performance of the of a lower end song. I can't remember what the song was. This is actually an interpretation of an that's the one song. It's called "In the End Is the Beginning," so that will take you to to the song if, if you pick up here. But that's kind of cool, kind of fun little concept, and I actually believe that Brian Strunky was a musician. Oh, before he right. started the brewing. So in that sense, it makes sense. So. Yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, it is a funny idea to essentially pair music and beer. Yeah. But it I'm is. sure you do. I'm sure we all do in some shape or form. I mean, something like De uh, Dave Urban Viking, you know I mean? You see him on Facebook saying, oh, I'm going to go uh, go drink a couple of beers and, and, li and listen to some metal. So, I mean, it's something that people do anyway. This has just been kind of brought together in a little kind of project. Yeah. So do you want to crack this one open? Yeah, let's get it open. Hopefully it won't gush on me like the last still water beer I had did. Uh, looks like we're good. No, let's find this. Mm. I've never seen um, still water beers in this size of bottle. And also, I don't think I've... Uh, there might be similar to ones that I think like Lost Abbey use, but... Um, it looks similar, but it's just with a cap instead of a cork. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think... This is because it's the series. Usually they do they do bombers. Well, yeah. it's kind of mixed from depending on where they brew. This one is brewed. I think it's like it was Dog Brewing Company or something like that. Oh, was it? Oh, I thought oh, I thought it might have been done. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, Dog Brewing Company, and a lot of the stuff they do is brewed usually at Westbrook. Uh, I know. At least oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. It but, seems like a lot of people use Westbrook. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty well. It's it's also a pretty nice brewery. Mm, uh, yeah, I've had a few. It's yeah. Good stuff. Anyway. Yeah. Looks like your traditional kind of farmhouse ale, I'd say. A lot of carbonation. On yeah, it. absolutely. Loads streaming yeah. from on the bottom of the glass of mine. I, yeah. You can I see it on that glass of blimey. Yeah, it's going like crazy. <laughs> well, yeah, I think it's because your glass has one of those. Um, yeah, well, there's another mine too. But I think yours yeah, might have a little flavor. Little, right? It has a bit, yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's a nice, kind of hazy yellow, white, frothy, frothy head. Like, yeah, and it keeps growing and growing. Yeah, 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 because of the carbonation. So yeah. if we can, we want to try and stick our noses in here. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I, I'm, it smells very sa traditionally saison forward. I'm not picking up Brennermyces or anything like that as you did in the other beers I reviewed recently. Yeah, I have to get rid of some of this head because it <laughs> yeah. got spilled over the glass. Definitely a little bit of a floral component to it. Yeah, well, hibiscus, I mean, uh, I was thinking, yeah. you know, wildflowers, I was thinking straight yeah. away. Yeah. It does have that kind of 
kind of freshly baled up hay. Yeah, yeah, like the traditional kind of barn, not really funk, but that fresh uh, hay, kind of also doughy, bready feel almost. Yeah. And I'm picking up a little bit of a, like a quite dry, almost, not as in funk, but that kind of dry, powdery yeast sensation you sometimes get. Yeah, um, apricots. Like yeah, 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 very, cool. very dusty, very dusty, but apricots, I'd say. Yeah, no, definitely no, some, some, some pale stone fruits in there. Yeah, and some, also some like some sweet malt along with that readiness and and just like just just a not in a bad sense, but a fairly just gener generic saison or farmhouse ale kind of yeast character, like a lot of esters. Yeah, like, yeah, a really nice yeah, a traditional, but with a wonderful kind of clarity to the aroma. Yeah. I get a, one thing that jumps out for me is. It's it's like a um, like a peach tart. It's got that kind of sweet short crust pastry kind of thing going on for me. No, I can see that with the breadiness. Mm. Yeah, it smells mm. pretty good though. It, smells it does. Nice. You want to give it a taste? Yeah, let's dive in. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's uh, yeah. actually a pretty nice saison. Uh, I, I'm not digging it as much as I did with a table beer, but that's also because I've had Brennanomyces and I really like Brennanomyces. Mm. So, but still, this is really nice, really refreshing too. So yeah. And the, the carbonation isn't actually that excessive, at least in this class. Well, now yeah. it's been in here anymore. It, it suits it. I think. For me, it, I think you get it straight away, but it's not one of those beers that sometimes when it's, there's too much carbonation, it just kind of fluffs up in your mouth and just disappears yeah. to nothing. Yeah. It doesn't do that. Mm. And it definitely follows through with the, like, flavor-wise, I definitely pick up again on that barnyardy hay mm. uh, kind of feel with the dusty flavors. Um, really nice fresh breadiness as well, uh, along with, like, pale stone fruits. I, I don't know if I'd say maybe specific, specifically peach, but I get more like a mm. generic estery fruit character. Yeah, um, kind of like a sweet and... Lemon, so kind of like lemon curd for me. Maybe, yeah. maybe lemongrass as well. I mean, lemongrass has got that yeah, little... something in there, which is a bit like that. Hmm. But what, I mean, dusty, I've never thought of that. I mean, but, hmm. but that's Saison. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. got there's something. It's not grainy, but yeah, it's yeah. something there. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, I definitely see where you come from with the lemon flavors. Because it does have some citric, kind of lemony, fresh notes. Uh, not as much as you sometimes would get if you use Brennanomyces. But... One thing I'm surprised by, though, the hibiscus kind of floral flavors aren't that dominating in the beer. You get a yeah. little bit of a floral flavor, but I think mostly you pick up on this very kind of traditional saison yeast mm. with like that nice breadiness and sweet maltiness uh, to it. So maybe slightly herbal as well in, in that kind mm. of like um, flat leaf parsley. Not loads. I mean, as you said, it is primarily on that kind of lemon, uh, this kind of nice soft, soft sweet malt. And well, there's something, uh, I, I, something in my mind what makes me think it, 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 it kind of you kind of expect Brett in a beer like this. It, mm -hmm. I mean, you're getting all those flavors that you expect in a beer that does have quite a bit of Brett, and then that Brett doesn't come. Which mm. I don't know if it's, it's not a good thing or a bad thing. It's just it just happens to be uh, this way. But you can see there could be like a Brett version of this. And that might be one of the other versions he does. Yeah. Maybe a Brett beer. Probably will do. I'm also like picking up with like a honey type sweetness, especially in the aroma, and, and along with like a little bit of you talk about herbal, maybe a slightly spicy, peppery feel too. Yeah, maybe white pepper. Hmm. But yeah, it's it's just like a classic American interpretation of the farmhouse ale. I guess. Absolutely. Yeah. It's really nice. It's really refreshing. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I guess that's what he does. I mean, that I mean, he's he's honed his kind of his style of saisons, and this yeah. is this is definitely a, a good one with that additional ingredient, which isn't jumping out too much. No. So it's kind of like so. I wonder if it is more about. I mean, if you watch the watch the music video, does it kind of does it enhance the kind of drinking experience? Because the drink, as nice as it is, it's nothing <coughs> kind of. It's not outrageous in any way to be no, no. part of a series, I guess. No. Well, Has I he announced any of the other ones? 
I don't know, actually. I think this is the only one released so far. I okay. didn't get to check up on that, though, but... Mm -hmm. um, I guess it's about an experiment, experience. You'll have to watch some stuff on, on these QR codes while drinking the beer, so maybe we should yeah. try that when we're done yeah. with it. But it, it's still <laughs> nice. It's really refreshing. Uh, right. I don't think we talked about the body, but I just like the medium uh, yeah. with that kind of... Dusty. Dusty, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, but yeah, exactly. I mean, I think I have clearly not drunk as many seasons as you, so but yeah, it's not as kind of it's not as it's not have that horse blank that kind of no no no, no. Of, that uh, traditional no. none of that. It's got a nice kind of clarity to it, and I guess yeah. that's the the, um, the American interpretation takes yeah. away a, a bit of that to make it a bit maybe a little bit more drinkable, a bit more a bit more palatable. Yeah, agreed. So mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a rating wise. Uh, I'm gonna go 82 on this one. I think it's pretty nice, but it's not as good as some of his other beers. Um, like the table beer was really good, and I think it was called Jaded, which I had at um, CBC, and like a black saison. He did. Those are really nice. Uh, uh, but it's it's so cool. I, I'd like to see a, a good worth trying. I'd like to see and try also the other beers in the series if mm. they end up here in Europe. We'll see. Yeah, I've had a, I've had a few from him. Um, uh, the one he, he did a collaboration with Mikla. I've done, I think I've had one called Cellar Door. Uh, I had, uh, I've done a couple that he, he brewed in he, he brewed in Be uh, Belgium, which were yeah. quite different, but definitely still on that kind of saison style of things. But I remember one being a bit more triply. But yeah, he does it, he does it really well. And as far as saisons go, this is the kind of saison that I'd like. Maybe if you're going to go down that American route. I don't know. Does it need a bit more kind of hops? I mean, I've had some lovely hoppy saisons. Well, yeah, so that then, would be nice, and and, and maybe also bread and rice. That's the thing I've really started yeah. to like a lot in 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 saisons. Mm. But other than that, one thing I would have liked too was the hibiscus to stand out more in the flavor. Yeah, and then for that, I think I'll give it an eighty-one, just because. Yeah, if you're gonna say there's hibiscus in there, I mean, it should be kind of jumping out a bit more. Yeah. A nice it's beer, still, but mm, yeah, yeah. Unremarkable. So guys, definitely. Let us know what you think of the Stillwater Artisanal Ales Sensory Series Volume 1 Lower Dens. I think that's the full name. Uh, and you could also let us know if any of the other has been released in the US yet, if they're worth trying. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks to Rob from Hop Scenes for the journey. It's always a pleasure. Now, these colors are always fun to do. You definitely check them out if you haven't already, guys. Uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and we're going to say cheers. Cheers! And we're gonna see you guys in another beer review. Beer review! Yes! <laughs>